Hi, welcome. The title of this video is how to install uh, GWM with Arch Linux D. And Arch Linux D has just been built like five minutes ago. At this moment, I'm working on Arch Linux B JWM, and I'm going to show you how to install Arch Linux D and install JWM on it. So this ISO is there. If you build it, ArchLinuxB.com, you build this Arch Linux D ISO like I press a few buttons and type in dot slash 30, tap, tap, enter. And then you have this ISO. So Arcmix D is the idea to be the most minimal ISO there is, and it is. In our view, of course, Arch Linux view. We are, there are some packages that we need for Arch Linux management, right? But um, Arch Linux D has changed considerably since April. 2020 and the deal is that we have a lot of information during calamars and one of the things is you can choose immediately on calamars to install also any desktop really 16 of them by now and we will keep continuing adding desktops so i prefer to do lightm because it doesn't take in lots of dependencies and here it is so here is a new choice a new desktop you can choose and you can be as much in detail as you want. If you want to have all that and say, gonna try first everything and see what it gives and later on decide, I don't want this, I don't want that and don't want this and so on, right? It's a choice. You need to choose here. And that's the point of this thing. This is freedom. Choose what Lego blocks you want to have. Maybe you'd like to have XFC together with Awesome. So be it, that's it. You've installed it later on. So the video is about installing JWM. So this one, I'm gonna keep everything so you know how it looks in after the installation. So this is at this point in time, middle of April. So it's not available. Do not try to look for it, but you can build it. Arclinux B, build Arclinux D. You got it. Two choices, either you install it straight off from Calamaris or you just don't click anything and just move up till the end and say, okay, I'm gonna do it with scripts later on. It's all up to you. I'm gonna use the easy way out, sorry. So next, 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 next. Ah. And that one is ours. Let me check if I added this one. So that's correct, that's new. If you wanna know what's new on the Arclix D, the Vim and the Vim plugins are here. And in the terminals we've added our Arclix Termite themes, which we're missing. So from Arclix Z anyway. All right, when, it's all, when everything is set, you say, okay, let's go on, right? Next, next, and then you get the normal choices between where do you live, the time zone, you need to add or change if you want to, right? This is gonna be the button, no, nope, Paris. There. Next, choose wisely, choose your keyboard. Next, erase or any other options you like. Encrypt is possible too. Three options here, plus encrypting makes six options. I'm just gonna do the normal stuff here. My virtual box. And there we are. Then we wait for the installation to finish. Pausing the video. Installation has finished a while ago, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna reboot. It's the same process all over again with every uh, installation. You're booting up in something black, which is really kind of Arch Linux feeling. TTY, it's called. And with an enter, you can speed it up a little bit and then he says, who are you? I'm Eric, and that's my password. First things first, I always forget scale. It's important. Everything that's in etc scale is now copy pasted in the home directory. It's certainly important with tiling window managers and also with this one, right? Everything that's in there, the configs need to be on our system, not in etc scale. Then you decided to use some kind, one of four, some kind of um, CTL display manager and it's in my case LightM and you don't see, you don't see me type the whole word 
So this is enough and then tap and it completes it. It's called auto completion. Type in your password and you need to see the created sim link and without any problems. And if you have problems, there is something called force me to do that. Oh, it's gonna be overwriting anyway, whatever you have on your system. That's it really. Um, well, if it's an old ISO and it's like for two months ago, maybe you can do already an update here or an up all and stuff like that. But basically we're here. If you're living in a totally different side of the world, then Mirror is an also a good idea to do, to get new Arch Linux servers around. There are variants of it, S and a D and an A, and we even have a new one. If you wanna know, it's called Update Mirrors. You can use that one as well. So anyway, let's hope, um, let's try it anyway. Uh, okay, well, everything up to date. Uh, five minutes ago it was built, so yeah should be up to date but now is it the time to see what it is really so sudo reboot or the short variant sr and we're booting of course from the hard disk not the dvd or the usb anymore and this is your system there you go you have now a gwm terminal thing there you go this is what we wanted right window manager joe's window manager or jwm i always pronounce it wrong but this time it's correct so you can click here and you get a menu but actually right mouse click it's anywhere right so this is a very uh, minimal thing but like you see we want to have this guy this guy some screenshots uh vim is here vim is here compton and pikem yeah that's that's a bit ugly but that's uh, something we can fix but not on the D we fixed it on Arclinx B. It's actually not that difficult. What, that, what we have done is we've installed also on that one Arclinx local applications. Good. And that will avoid showing all these things. Scale again, of course. Break 6FC, doesn't matter. And then we restart JWM and suddenly they are no more there right all tips and tricks we learned in the process of developing our clinics so this is what we get out of the box and it's up to you now to figure out how does it work and then so on and so on but it's really a fun um, desktop environment so be my guest and um, enjoy it all right cheers